Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope uh, you've been having a great time. Now, the funny thing about this Christmas has been the most unpredictable Christmas ever in the history of the world. Uh, so many people just don't know what to do. They don't know if maybe to uh, celebrate or just wait upon God or... <laughs> Uh, people are still making resolutions. Others are saying, uh, I'd rather do this or I'd rather do that. Or maybe I'm going to start a new job. I'm going to move to a different place. Uh, the only thing that I can tell you is, as you make your plans, it's always good to remind God one thing. He knows what is coming. He knows the end from the beginning. And he's told us that no matter what you're doing, no matter where we go, no matter what thing we touch, he will always be there for us. And he tells us not to get worried because being worried is one of the things that make people uh, kind of lose it because we, we, we tend to worry so much in our lives that we think, how are my children going to live? Am I going to be able to pay uh, my house bills to fuel my car to do this and that? Um, am I going to be maybe some retrenchment is coming to, uh, to our workplace because maybe 2021 seems to be a bit more uh, probably is going to be more crazy than 2020. But one thing I like to tell you is cast all your fears unto God because he knows everything. He tells us, look at other lilies, look at the uh, uh, are the, are the, are the ants, look at the, the, the birds of the sky. Do they walk and yet they still eat? Are you not more important than them? So this is one thing that you should always tell God. God, please remember, I am more important than the lilies of the field and the, the birds of the sky. I'm more important to you. I am created in your image and definitely that means you know and you have a good plan for my life. So tell him to work out the good plan that he has for your life. And uh, I'm sure with that, you'll be able to feel some peace in your heart and you'll be able to say, okay, fine. There's something, there's some hope I have. You see... Just like uh, one guy, I don't remember who, who it was, uh, he said that you, in this life of, uh, that we live on earth, you better have some hope, even if the hope is fake. We stay, we stay at times, we feel hopeless, we feel down, we feel as if everything is gone, we have no hope. Some people, so many people killed themselves during this uh, time. Uh, so many people uh, uh, passed through difficult situations and others, they, they even denied Jesus and they said, I don't think Jesus even exists if this, all these things have happened to me. But I like to tell you one thing. He knows every plan. And whether it's coming today, whether the rapture is today, tomorrow or the day after, he knows every plan. And no matter the decision that you're making, always pray to him and tell him, God, direct my ways, direct my path. Give me the right decisions. Every, one thing that I always pray every morning is that, God, give me favor. Give me favor before your eyes and before the eyes of men. Let everything that I touch be favored. Let every uh, person who looks at me favor me. Let, let my work be favored. Everything that I do, because God can be able to give you favor even in your workplace, even in things that you do. And while other people are getting confused and what are they going to do this time? Or where are, going, or are they going to start their 2021? You're free and you're liberated in your mind. So the only one who can liberate you is Jesus Christ. And for those people who have never believed the gospel, the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it all talks about how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. How did Jesus die? He died by shedding his blood at the cross. Through the shedding of his blood, we were able to be liberated. We, we had peace. We have peace with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. So if you believe in the gospel, you will be saved. In Ephesians 1.13, it says, In whom you trusted, after that you heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation. In whom you believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So the moment you hear and you trust, then you get uh, salvation. And the Holy Spirit is sealed in you. And you will never lose that Holy Spirit. Because Jesus told us, I will not leave you as orphans. But I will give you the Holy Spirit who will abide with you forever. So the Holy Spirit, once he gets into you, he will abide with you forever. So guys, uh... Just continue having a great time. I know it's, it's not really anything to say great time because this has been really tough time. But don't worry. 2021 is going to be probably another different time. We are going to learn something new. We're going to know something new. People are going to start different jobs, different things. And 
Who knows if Jesus will come in 2021? Who knows what is going to happen? So just keep your mind open, keep your ways open, trust upon the Lord and everything will work out exactly so, so well. So God, God bless you guys. Have a blessed time and I have some happy holidays.